Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today is a quick video. I'm just going to show you quickly how I colour my seam binding. Um, I'm going to be doing it with some Distress Oxide um, inks, the spray ink here. Um, now I use the Hug Snug, um, which, which I absolutely love. Um, so I've just taken a length off here. I get my Hug Snug from Etsy. Um, so I've got some colours here. Um, but the one that I think will probably work is this one, which is the Tattered Rose. Um, but they are all really, really lovely. I love these Oxide Inks sprays. So I'm going to use this one here. Now, what I do to start with, I actually wet the seam binding. Because that takes, it seems to take the colour a little bit better than just popping it onto dry, dry seam binding like that. So you can do the same the same method with um, cheesecloth and everything. So if you've got any cheesecloth, um, you can use that as well. Um, so you get sort of like matching colours. So I've just wet that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this. And I'm just going to spray it. Now these do make a bit of a mess when you spray them. So I'm going to put a bit on there like that. And I just roll it in my hands. That's why I've got some gloves on. Although this ink isn't that dark, so it's not too bad. So just keep adding a little bit until you get sort of like the right colour. You can mix the colours, obviously. Um, then you can come up with your own um, sort of colours. So I'm just going to just rub that together. Now that's such a pretty, pretty colour. So I'm hoping you can sort of like see that's very, very sort of a shabby pink. Now I just quickly wipe my hands because this is what I want it to go on. So and I think that is just going to be perfect, absolutely perfect colour. So it's very, very simple. Again, you can add a little bit of purple or a darker pink just to sort of like make it a little bit more vibrant but I think this will probably be fine. I'm going to dry it and see what it looks like when it's dry um, because we can always add a little more and darken it up. So I'm just going to quickly get my heat gun and just give it a quick blast. As I dry it I just sort of like move it around and then I will scrunch it. Now you can leave it to dry overnight um, but I'm quite impatient so I like to um, get it all dry and ready um, to use. So I just sort of like scrunch it as I go and dry it. Okay so I think that's pretty much dry now. So I think that's lovely. Let me just take my gloves off. Oops. So there we go, I think that's really nice. It's all scrunched up, tiny, tiny bit damp. But let me try and untangle it now. Just find an end. Now I think that's lovely. So let me just wipe this off just to make sure I don't have any ink on there before I pop the journal down. So again, look at that, that's perfect. And all I wanted it for was to pop along the edge just like that just to tidy the edge of the journal up um, and I will probably use it as the closure as well I might sew in um, the journal pages with this and use it as the as the closure too because I think that looks really pretty so there we go guys that's how simple it is just to colour seam binding now you can use um, your ink pads as well. So if you've got some, um, oopsie easy, ink pads, not that dark. Here we go. So if I can get it out, I've got this one, which is the Mills Lavender. So all as you do, you take it and you rub it on something that's shiny, um, and then just wet it and do the same thing. Just rub it all in together, um, and you'll get the same sort of look. Um, but these are so much easier. They are very, very easy to use. And I think that just goes perfectly with that. So the next video, I will be adding this to the journal. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will pop a link below where I got the hug snug from. You can get it from Amazon. 
um, but I do get it from Etsy um, so I will pop the link down for that all right guys thank you so much for joining me take care and I will see you soon bye bye